airport for the Sesamont Trial Inter um, National Championship in Reno. <laughs> We're here. Um, it's been an experience. Yeah. <laughs> I lost my wallet, y'all. Uh huh. <laughs> and we missed our flight, and we finally made it. TSA was great. Delta was great. No complaints. Um, but we finally made it after having to reschedule our flight. So we'll show you some of Reno as we get to the strip. And I will tell you. <laughs> Once you get off the plane, it's very obvious that you are in Reno. <laughs> you can you are greeted right at the gate with slot machines and uh, Ceno uh, equipment right there in the terminal. So yeah, it's very obvious that you're in Reno when uh, you get off the plane. But the scenery so far is very beautiful, and I hope to explore some of it. The plane ride was awesome. So we'll show you some more and we're going to take a walk on this trip once we get settled in. Reno right now. We've already gotten back from our trip to Reno. Uh, we're just going to talk about it and I'll show you some scenes from our trip uh, that we did while we were there. It was not what we expected at all. Well and what we mean by that was it was a little, there was more for the kids than we originally thought. Um, lots of good food. Wow, lots of good food. Um, the hotels were great um, but it's very compact. Everything's in one small area. So even though they tell you it's a small city, it's even more so. It's a it, it, They call it the biggest small city. <laughs> and uh, it's like everything is there, but everything's compact into such a small space. I guess we should be used to that being in the <laughs> We're not into gambling and that kind of a thing. And, you know, no offense to anybody that is if that's your thing and you enjoy that that's great we we're just not into that so we didn't never really had a reason to go to reno not really that's what we expected it was all i mean that's what it was mainly about but once we got there we saw that uh, there was a lot more to it than just the casinos and things like that lots of unique restaurants um a lot of good shopping, but expensive shopping, I will say that. The thing about Reno is, you can blow your money, or you can save your money. There's options for both while mm -hmm. we were there. Uh, if you wanted to have a $100 meal, there's fine restaurants that are there there you can blow a hundred dollars on a meal or if you want a cheeseburger uh
Uh, there's plenty of places. That the best be... cheeseburger I think I've ever had, or really one of the top. Yeah, I would say that was one really good cheeseburger. I mean, the <laughs> thing had avocado on it, okay? <laughs> I mean, an avocado cheeseburger. It was called, yeah. what was it called? I can't remember, but it was at Circus Circus in yeah. their food court. So there was a little bit of everything for everybody. Stayed at the Silver Legacy mm -hmm. um, with the uh, mock trial team. And the way they have it is there's the Silver Legacy, Circus Circus, and El Dorado. All three resorts are joined together where you can walk in between the three different resorts without ever even going outside. So, though we stayed at the uh, Silver Legacy, we ended up eating at Circus Circus mm -hmm. every night. Because it had the best food court. It had, it had the most least expensive and you could get it fast because mm -hmm. we didn't have a lot of time. That's one of the things we did not have a lot to do. I really wish we could have explored a lot more. We didn't get to go to Lake Tahoe because our flight got delayed. Um, and so we didn't get to go to Lake Tahoe, which I really wish we had. But a lot of things happened while we were there that we were not expecting. Here we are. Okay, it's 90 degrees here in North Carolina. We think, oh my goodness, if it's this hot here, we're going to be going out into the desert. It's going to be hot. It's going to be mm -hmm. dry. It's going to be, you know, we need to pack shorts and t-shirts. And what happens when we get there? We end up shopping for clothes because we were so cold. It didn't get in above the 50s while we were there. Uh, it, and it rained. It rained in the desert while we were there. Trying to stay dry. This is the desert. It's not supposed to be raining. Right here. So we're, are we really we're, we're not going where we were. It was the coldest days and it was rainy days in the middle of the desert. And we were not prepared for that uh, because we were expecting to be hot and dry because we were going to be out there in the desert. Didn't feel like the desert at all, did it? No, and then we landed back in Charlotte when we got home yesterday and it was 90 degrees here at home. So, it was so yeah, we left there with uh, jackets on and we come here and it is so hot. So it was definitely not what we expected. And it didn't feel like a desert. It didn't feel mm -hmm. like a desert there at all, did it? Not to me. Especially because the river because the river runs right through the city. Mm -hmm. And then, and it's right there at Lake Tahoe. So there's like it's not like it's, you know, no water around for miles. It's it's there's lots of lakes and rivers going through there. So it doesn't feel like it's out in the desert, even though it is. Oh and all, I think it was a pretty positive experience. Uh, I I would love to go back sometime and visit Lake Tahoe and maybe take the camper out that way. That would be a very good adventure for us. And had we had the time this time, we probably would have done it. But yeah, if we had the time, we would have, I would have preferred to have taken the camper. Then we wouldn't have had to go shopping for jackets because we'd have had everything with us. Mm -hmm. That's one thing you can say for having your own camper. So You're taking your home with you, so if you, you can't forget anything because you've taken everything with you. That's right. <laughs> Well, folks, we're looking forward to sharing um, New York with you next week. Um, so we'll be coming at you with a lot of um, new experiences, and we're very excited about that. Um, so stay tuned.